little gizmos you have in your kitchen can make or break you during the holidays, saving you time, money, and even your sanity in a busy day. Nationally recognized kitchen living expert Corianne Etienne from Snohomish is here with the top gizmos you'd want with you if you were stranded on Kitchen Island. <laughs> Something that that uh, plagues me every year: the basting of the turkey. Oh, absolutely! And you know, one of the things that gets me—and I'm not sure if it gets you—but it's the drip. Yeah, it's the it's, mess. I didn't, never know where the stuff is coming out. Absolutely. With the baster. So with this baster, so uh, my Kitchen Island products have all come from Le Sur Le Tab, and what I love about it is that it started in Seattle, mm -hmm. um, and it's one-stop shopping. So when you're busy, you can just kind of go through and grab what you need. And the first thing I grab. Is this dripless baster? And why is it dripless? Essentially, the tip of it um, fits right into the end, so there's no drip and there's no mess. And Got what's it. really lovely about this is it comes with a cleaning tool, so when you're done, you already have the cleaning ah. instrument that you need. Oh, I like that. Isn't that fun? It's okay. easy and it's light. And it's perfect for not just basting the turkey, <laughs> but you know when barbecue season comes around and you want a quick marinade? Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't just need to be for Thanksgiving. I don't use basters very often because they are so messy, but it would come in handy for a lot of things. So oh, that's absolutely. brilliant. Okay, so we know about that. What's next? Okay, so one of the things that I love to give as a hostess gift, and it's a little bit elaborate, but especially for those young couples that are just starting out, is a roasting dish. This is beautiful, of course. Yes. It's French oven. Absolutely. So Ironically, one of the first things I ever bought was one of these. Mm -hmm. um, and I fooled my husband into thinking I knew how to cook um, because <laughs> I used the Dutch oven. And it is a great midweek meal. I mean, really think about it. So you've been cooking like crazy for two or three days in preparation of Thanksgiving. Friday comes around, you've shopped till you've dropped, you have no interest in right. cooking. Throw your potatoes and your leftovers and your turkey in there, put it in the oven at 385. Put your feet up, have a glass of wine, and dinner served. And this will last forever. Oh, You'll have it will. this your whole life. And the green, isn't that a great the green, color? The, all the new colors, the aubergine, just oh, they I know. kill me. It's just beautiful. I know. Okay, terrific. And now, what are we doing with the potatoes? Okay, so what I love about the potatoes is that, you know, everyone has, it's a real debate, isn't it? You have the creamy potatoes, you whip the them? lumpy potatoes. Yeah. Right. So in our house, potato mashing is left to the children. And this is my new favorite toy. And this is great for an urban dweller as well. Watch this. And then pop it in the drawer. Oh, so it's very easy to it's store. It's very easy to store. Isn't that's that great? Right? Yeah, that's a good idea. And then what a lot of people don't know is that, so I give this to my children. We have a, a small orchard in the background, loads of apples coming mm -hmm. out. We bake the apples, skin them, mash, and mash, 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 and you have applesauce. But this, fantastic! This is great. You're gonna love this. I this I had never seen. This is great. This is like a kaleidoscope for the kitchen fanatic. Okay. So I'm not sure if you can take a look here, but when you right here twist, it changes the consistency. So you can get bigger or smaller chunks coming through here, depending, depending on, on how you, you rotate these two things. So I'm gonna let you try it out. All right. Let me hand you a potato. I love smushing things. This is great. So I'll pop one in All for right. you. Thank you. And you want it on this plate yeah, over here? Yeah, just pop it right on All to right. the potato. I will aim for that plate. Absolutely. Give it a good squish. Okay. And Whoops. then. Oh, <laughs> I think I didn't have it on there tight you enough. You are a lot Sorry. stronger than you look. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm like Popeye. And so in the ideal world, this stays on because we haven't twisted it too much. All right. Well, that's okay. We really saw how they great came potatoes. out. That and it's got beautiful. a little lip on the side, so when you are doing this properly inside a pan, you just kind of rest it on the pan and smash and smash, and, and keep the going. children will love it for hours on end. You know something? I actually do. You guys like this? There's some mindless tasks in the kitchen that are so relaxing. I really love that sort of. stuff. Up, so I would enjoy that. Absolutely. And if you just uh, tighten it, you won't have the problem I had. <laughs> Great. All right. Thank you. Okay. So speaking of potatoes, after the morning after, we have a mm -hmm. tradition in our house: potato pancakes. Yes. I love Good potato idea. pancakes. And a skillet like this. Oh my gosh, it's brilliant. Now this is one of the scan pans, which are just superb. Turn it round. Have a look. It's induction safe. Isn't that great? It goes on any single cook surface, so you don't need to worry about it. But what I really love is just how fun is that kind of shiny, simmery circus? You see this, yep. and then you know I can put it on my induction hub. Absolutely, and they last forever also, so it's oh, a they good do. investment. They Wonderful. Do. All right, that's another must have. Now we've done the potatoes. Mm -hmm. We need, this is like putting on the crown jewels of the potatoes. You need your gravy, right? Of course. And one of the first electric tools I had in the kitchen was one of these smart sticks. 
What I love about the smart sticks is you can go from soups and sauces to cocktails. Right. You know, one easy, it has a really quick release. Throw it in the dishwasher, you're ready to go. This thing is way more useful than you would think. You oh, start yes. out thinking, oh, I'm just going to use this for a couple of things, and pretty soon you're addicted. And it's immersion. So what I've done here is I've um, I made some chicken stock last night. We roasted a chicken. We had some um, lovely garlic and potatoes. Mm -hmm. So this Beautiful. is a great gluten-free recipe. So basically, I've got my stock here. Mm -hmm. Throw a little bit of roasted vegetables in. And if you're like me, I you absolutely love garlic. garlic. And a little tip. Save the skins of the garlic for when you um, make a stock because oh. it, it, it has all of the essential the flavors, oils. Yeah. Okay. And then watch this little trick. This is what I love. And because it's immersion, it doesn't blow all over the place. It doesn't place. blow it everywhere. Just... And then you've got a thicker, healthier gravy for your turkey day. Just throw that in with your turkey stock that you've got. And then you don't need to add flour and you have a really thick. Gravy. I just think that's fantastic. And then one last little gizmo here that I cannot get over. This is great. Oh my gosh. If they only if this only came in like face cream yeah, edition, why right? Why couldn't you just spray yourself with the lemon juice? So when when Sir Latop handed me these, and by the way, everyone's getting a copy of these today. You're getting so one you of these. So you can have fun with them as well. <laughs> Essentially all you do is I just cut the top off. It comes with a little screw. So if you can screw a, a nut into a wall, you can make fantastic juice. And it just squirts on top. Now, a little tip for um, Thanksgiving evening. You know when you get just a little bit hungry and you want something, but something light, and you mm -hmm. feel like you didn't have enough greens on the day? A little bit of butter lettuce, some avocado, a little bit of lemon or lime dressing, and olive oil, and you've got a nice, healthy, yeah. green post-Thanksgiving meal. And then, of course, a little martini, you know, spritz. Spritz, Absolutely. Go. that could happen. And the lovely thing is, instead of pouring it, you've got it spritzed, so a lovely thing for vegetables, for salads, for anything. So I hope you enjoy these. We just thought those were the cleverest things ever and wanted to share them with everybody. Thank you, Corianne. Oh, my pleasure. We appreciate it. We are getting to be such expert cooks here. We may have to take extra time off just to eat. Uh, Corianne has a great website full of tips and tricks that you can use to wow your holiday guests. And we posted a link to Kitchen Living with Corianne at King5 dot com slash new day. Thank you again. Oh my this pleasure. Is really very educational. Still ahead today. That's okay. Give her a big round of applause. Thank you so much. Still ahead, our pet vet has the scoop on some hidden dangers for pets this time of year. We need to be careful. But first, AAA travel takes us on a perfect winter holiday to the beautiful Norwegian fjords. We'll find out how to get the very best deal on the vacation of a lifetime. That's coming up next.